filtering stocks for valuations so someone who is interested in value investing or fundamental analysis or uh, uh, they need a list of stocks but uh, in order to identify uh, the correct names in larger baskets so it is very tough so we need a tool or application to filter the stocks based on the criteria or based on the uh, conditions uh, uh, we, we need to filter it so I think uh, this uh, application is one of the most interesting applications uh, the web application name is screener uh, everyone might have aware about uh, money control and all those things so uh, there are various apps in the markets for stock prices and uh, to track performance and to view the graphs and uh, all those things uh, leaving those side apart uh, this tool looks interesting to me so even though it's very pretty simple and it is very light so uh, but it is very interesting too uh, maybe if you send, spend a little time on this maybe a 15-20 minutes of time uh, you can create a screener on your own the screener in the sense uh, uh, for example uh, if you are in stock markets you might have 40,000 stocks or 50,000 stocks uh, based on our conditions we can filter out uh, the stocks and then we can do the analysis so for that uh, it is very helpful so let's quickly see how we can uh, create a filter and how we can uh, track the stock on our own so this is the website so when we click on the screen uh, next to the wa watch list tab so we get one of those so right let me right away do the screen let me create a new stock screen so what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter the stock now so what I'm going to do is I'm creating a condition of market capitalization so everyone knows market capitalization is nothing but uh, uh, what is the current value of company in the market uh, in the market so I would say the company value is less than 10,000 crores like more like a smaller uh, mid cap so we are creating a screener for mid cap so let me run this query almost I got around uh, 4000 results 4000 stocks so we might know now we understand the confusion so out of this 4000 it is very difficult for us to screen the stocks right we can't go and do and uh, open each and every one and then we can do the analysis it's very tough for us so we have to create a own screener on our own at the same time uh, for each and every one uh, the screener might be different the reason is uh, the perceptions is different or conditions might be different for example uh, uh, we might be looking only at dividend stocks for others they might be looking at only at growth stocks for others even though they are looking at dividend stock they want companies which are paying more dividend or more earnings per share more sales growth so that is where the screener helps in so I have tracked that market capitalization is less than 10,000 crore now what I am going to do is I am going to quickly introduce a uh, term called promoter holding so promoter holding what does promoter holding means so I always prefer uh, the company should be in the promoter hands the reason is if a business is doing good why he will leave the business to public hands you should not do right so you should not sit in sidelines and uh, track the companies so promoter holding should be always greater than 50 percent so less than see that so out of 3900 companies we got 2300 companies where promoter holding is less, greater than 50 percent 1600 companies vanished based on these conditions so even though the promoter holding is greater than 50 percent but uh, there are certain companies where uh, even though the promoter holding is greater than 50 percent but they might have placed those shares for getting loans from banks for example uh, uh, Kingfisher Airlines or uh, S Bank for few examples where they have placed those shares to borrow money from public right so what happens is even though their promoter holding is greater than 50 percent they pledged and borrowed uh, so it doesn't mean that they actually own that uh, shares the reason is uh, the usually the promoters usually place their shares uh, the reason is when they feel the share price is very high so that's the term they usually place those shares okay that's the reason time when the promoters usually place those shares so I think there are some inappropriate filters which I have used before 
it came up so let me quickly clear that mess all right so i've cleared that now so promoter holding is greater than 50 percent so we got around uh, 3300 stock so let me quickly run the query once again so we got 2300 stocks and what i'm going to do is i am to do the pledge percentage so unpledged promoter holding should be greater uh, instead of unpledged so there is a difference between pledged and unpledged so pledged is what is the proportion they have uh, kept it at uh, uh, banks kitty so pledge percentage should be always less than two or three percentage to be more conservative let me keep it at three percentage so let me run the query now so okay 300 companies vanished 300 companies vanished so where uh, pledge percentages are uh, uh, to be more conservative we can be more conservative by giving one percent or uh, two percent but there are quite chances that you might miss uh, the company names so it always better to be a uh, little bit lenient but not to be more strict but at the same time we can do our final analysis we can uh, uh, do at the final cut so now uh, the f promoter the company's uh, structure we have filtered out now let me do it on the sales sales growth five years the companies should averagely grown at least 10 percent in the sales growth right so 10 percent then only it makes sense let me run this query okay so you can see then how simplified it is because out of 2300 companies or uh, 2000 companies have been vanished now uh, only 10 percent of the companies are in sales growth greater than 10 percent that is pretty interesting um, now we have started getting uh, very good quality names mm. and even though the sales growth is there operating profit margin should be there right so operating profit margin five year term should be they have been consistently greater than say 10 percent let it let be most uh, conservative i know 10 percent of operating margin is very less but still we have lost al almost around 200 companies now so now from 4000 companies we are at where we are at 274 274 that's pretty interesting now coming back to operating for profit margin now coming to the net profit margin so net profit margin uh, let me do the last year last year at least they should have been at greater than 10 percent so see we, we have lost almost 50 percent of the crowd now from 200 to this thing now coming to the operating profit margin and the net profit margin and net profit i'm not worried about the net profit numbers now as of now let let's keep it aside i'm worried about the debt to equity so debt should be uh i would say for a 10,000 crore company the debt should be at least what should i say it should be less than 1000 crores let me filter that now okay that's right so we have got around 25 names at 100 names not bad and debt to equity debt to equity so debt to equity should be always less than or equal to one that is the standard template <laughs> uh, so let's use that one too so debt equity is less than one and let me take uh, the interest component so interest coverage ratio should be greater than one of course interest coverage ratio should be greater than one we are slowly losing down the names but still we are getting the quality names not bad so and cash flow from operations or operating cash flow operating cash flow cash flow over three years should be positive let 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 me very lenient here because i don't know exactly so 67 companies or uh, have been positive and 
operating cash flow five year terms should be positive all right let me run the query now so still the same this companies are maintaining actually uh, positive operating cash flows for a longer time mm, and sales growth decent operating profit margin decent net profit margin decent debt is below 1000 and they are maintaining debt equity less than 1 and promoter holding and pledge percentage are all in line so let me do quickly the investing thing too and e and d Okay, for some reason we lost the filters so operating cash flow five years should be what greater than one and investing operating cash flows and investing cash flow okay so investing cash flow is something which I'm going to look into as a criteria the reason is so let's see let's uh, see whether we can able to uh, find some companies where they are uh, investing significantly for any growth opportunities so investing should be less than one that's what I'm trying to uh, make it so I mean less than one in the sense or less than zero so uh, so that means uh, when investing is less than zero it means the company is investing uh, significant uh, I mean some portion of the money is being invested I think for uh, growth or something and investing cash flows or five year terms let's see let's find here two so investing cash flows or five year terms should also be negative the reason is let's see whether the companies they are spending significantly uh, or the five year term for their growth so that's one thing which we need to see uh, that is one thing now we got around 25 stocks not bad very uh, I, w I wouldn't say this are very basic filters but at the same time uh, I think it should be efficient uh, let me take the f return on equity one of the most interesting uh, filters which everyone should use because without that it is uh, our filters will not be complete so that is one thing I don't know why we are not getting this one second investing cash flows less than five years should be less than zero yeah less than zero and return on equity should be greater than one I would say return on equity should be definitely greater than one but uh, one percentage no one will be willing right so return on equity should be at least ten percent because fixed deposit is somewhere around six seven percent so why ten percent so yeah decent so all these companies are giving a very good return on equity uh, ten percent that condition they have right away satisfied so return on capital employed return on capital employed okay let me quickly check the return on capital employed too return on capital employed so okay for some reason I'm not getting it I think uh, uh, the main reason is uh, when you're trying it uh, you have to be very patient because uh, this features are almost like uh, pro features uh, because uh, initially they are offering it maybe for uh, no subscription fee but cost but over over time mm, uh, we never know how they might charge too also so now coming to there is one more filter to average return on equity over three years and five years period so let me uh, pick this one to average return on equity whether they are uh, about 10 percent or a three year, three year period because uh, it might be a one-time event too they might have satisfied uh, the 10 percent thing let's do it for three years so now we got around 35 stocks okay all right now coming to return on capital employed numbers 
return on capital employed return on capital employed should be greater than 10 percent so what is difference between return on equity and return on capital employed it's nothing but uh, 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 due to the cash components and various uh, uh, it's it's actually the denominator differences uh, uh, exactly I'm not able to recall but uh, uh, it's actually uh, the portion of capital employed in the business and equity because the reason is uh, the entire equity will not be employed in the business business right it might be some portion might be kept aside in the books so that's the reason so there is a difference so uh, that's a high level explanation maybe uh, if you guys got a time you can look into those two so let me run this query to return on capital employed okay we got still a good set of names not bad so uh, written on capital employed so any filters which I missed out uh, investing return on equity return on capital employed uh, then price to earnings okay P one of the imp important uh, number price to earnings should be less than 10 but I'm very sure uh, if we use the price to 10 of less than 10 uh, most of the filters currently uh, we have the filter of around 34 I think it will vanish quickly vanish see so because uh, one of the main reason is and also the interesting thing is uh, this business till this point around 10 to 12 filters they are exactly they are super filters uh, the conditions are super so this business will not trade at cheap valuations right so it must be at least 20 or 25 times let's see even 20 25 times um, I don't think so uh, price to earnings of less than 25 times okay is there something wrong with the filters let me quickly see okay okay P. 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 price to earnings okay and price to earnings One second, uh, this filter came into this place now, so I have to quickly clean it up. So give me a second. Select. Okay, all right. So what I'm going to do now is, all right, cut, 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 cut. Okay, price to earnings less than. less than 15 okay we got 15 names okay 15 names so as of now what I will do is uh, I will keep it at 20 times I'll keep it at 20 times uh, so that we get a decent names see that uh, we got around 22 names actually so if I remove the price to earnings filter alone uh, price to earnings filter so there is nothing wrong in that when we are uh, uh, when you're doing the analysis more we can read on the companies yeah so if you can see here there is one interesting company so Gujarat these are all the 25 names which we got out of 34 this is the first list we can see here one of the in this are all not a penny stocks when we see uh, one interesting segment which I see is Tyro care definitely one of the interesting business the reason is but they are trading already at very high valuations so that is one thing which we need to see um, you can see the companies which are trading at low PE around 11 12 20. so this zone is where 16 to 25 is the zone where we might have an opportunities but exactly uh, we don't know we need lot of analysis but as of now uh, the core agenda is how to create a filter and then to see the stocks uh, we did that and from 4000 we we almost reduced around 3800 3900 stocks I would say almost 99 percent of the garbage have been flushed out only one percent we are we are at one percent so this is the filter now uh, you can see uh, this business are all trading above 15 
So out of this 25 in the first screen, almost 18 are trading at uh, above 15. So the average market PE is 15. Uh, the reason is you can see it. The, uh, the obvious. The reason is obvious because all these filters are uh, like a very strict filters and uh, very good criteria. All the criteria are in green, nothing in negative. So and also they are not very lenient. So that's the reason all these PEs are at very high valuations. I mean to say none of this business are trading at uh, uh, I mean to say it's not at definitely cheap but at the same time it's not uh, it's overvalued or uh, they justified their valuations that is what uh, the conclusion is uh, they are what they are so that's the reason uh, you can see here so because the company like the aerocrare trading at uh, 68 times I, I would say uh, it's good because uh, uh, they are growing the return on capital employed is around 36 percent and you can see the promoter holding it's very significant 66 percent it's, it's justifiable so coming to the end so this is how we need to create the filters and we have to do the analysis so we are not into the analysis so this is the criteria to do the analysis then after that there will be a second cut from 35 you may get three we may get two there are chances that we will not get anything so that is the thing thanks all thanks for watching now uh, let me see you guys in a next video thank you thanks